Aha. Mm. Good morning. How, uh, good morning, sunshine. How, how many of you guys remember this? You, you old school vloggers will remember that. This is like, this is taken way back with this mug. Ah, today, today, today. Today, I know Hillary wants to go and bring the paddle boards out on the water. So you guys get to watch me make a fool of myself on a paddle board, potentially falling into the cold, cold California ocean. I still have to go downstairs and do some snake work. So I'm gonna bring you down there with me and we'll go check out, see how the snakes are doing, see uh, everything down there. We're just gonna, we're gonna do that. You guys, you guys, you guys good? We're super random. I don't know what we're doing today. Hold on. No, I, I literally just told you what we're doing today. A little more coffee. Coffee's almost gone. Um, before I forget, if you guys didn't watch yesterday's video, make sure you go back and watch yesterday's video. Hillary and I are going to do a thing tomorrow. Find the details there. And if you want to participate, if you want to have, potentially have uh, your participation participating in the participation of the participation. Press peasant participle. I'll, I'll link the video right here so it's really easy to get to. Or I mean, or, or here. I don't know why it's so hard to remember which side that card pops up on. <sighs> To the snake room, to the snake room. Boys, do do do. Ah, oh, paddle boards, yes. We're taking those out today. It's gonna be fun. Oh, mess. Mess, mess, mess. Oh, I guess mess is my fault too. Ooh, did you guys see yesterday's bike ride? Comment down below, did you see the bike ride? Good morning, snake room. Oh. Ooh, that light is funky. That's better. So I've got a question for you guys. Which of you has a morning routine? Comment down below if you have a morning routine. Also comment down below if you can guess what the one thing that's actually been a morning routine for me in the past decade plus has been. Because I have like no routine. Sometimes I'll come down here and clean the snakes. Sometimes I'll drink coffee. Sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll go to the gym. Sometimes I'll go for a bike ride. Sometimes I'll go to the sauna. I literally have no morning routine with the exception of one thing. If you can take a guess at what that one thing is, down in the comments below. Also again, I wanna hear what your routine is if you have one. This is our biggest blood python baby, currently. He has eaten more meals than the rest of the babies, and he's looking great. Still hasn't had his first shed. So these guys were hatched back in April and still have not had their first shed. Focus, camera. For the love of God, please focus. Ah. So this girl here next to him is, is the smallest, I guess. I don't know why my camera is just having such a hard time focusing. Sometimes you just gotta take matters into your own hands and do it manually. Oh man! Gosh dang it. Okay, it's getting a little crazy. So what I've been doing here is keeping them just on water. At first I had them on coconut substrate, and I learned that they dehydrate really quickly and easily. And uh, I learned through Garrett that another buddy of mine uh, Matt Minatola over in, come on, focus, <laughs> over in Philadelphia, uh, that he keeps them on water. Now, Matt, sorry if I'm not right about that. I'm, I'm speaking through you, through Garrett. To be fair, they, they've done really well. Now that they're on water, they started eating and they're not dehydrating and obviously they, we won't keep them like this their whole life. There's actually a really good, really good video uh, that Dave Kaufman did at Matt's place. I'm gonna link that video right here. Ah, more mess. Mess, 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 mess. I uh, clean that up. Ooh, some of you guys were wondering uh, about my humidity in my room, and I use this right here. It's an evaporative humidifier, and it works really well. It's got these little wicks in it that wick up the water, and these uh, tubs that you fill up, and it, it just got this humidity probe right here that hangs in the room, and that probe goes to a herbstat and that herbstat is connected to this and powers that and tells it when it's not humid enough in the room and then kicks on like it's trying to right now but I have it turned down because I don't like the fan noise when I'm trying to record. Yeah, nobody wants to hear that when they're recording. For those of you that are wondering about my water, I actually use this machine that we've had for a long time. It's a water ionizer. I filter the water, put it in these giant five gallon buckets and then bring it downstairs for the snakes. Look at these sleeping beauties. <laughs> As soon as they wake up, we're battling. All right, back to the snake room. Look at this beautiful beast. Hello, Patsy. 
How is your morning going so far? Can I reach and touch you without a hook? Or are you going to take my hand off? Ah, very nice. Very nice indeed. She's like, not nice. Leave me alone, you freak. Do you want to just come hang out with me a little bit? Please, please. She's like, no, stay off, jerk. Okay, gosh. Grumpy in the morning, aren't we? Would you guys freak out if you never saw my face again? And the whole vlog was always just this, this first person view. Would you freak out? Come on, be honest. Seriously, please, com comment down below. Would you freak out if we just did it like this from now on? It would make my life a little bit easier, but let's see if this queen is laying her clutch yet. Not quite yet, not quite yet, but she's gonna be laying it real soon. You can tell by the look on her face. Speaking of faces, seriously, I'm waiting. Would you freak out if you never saw my face again? How many of you wish that I would always do it like this so you never had to look at my face again? Ever. Well, tough beans, suckers, because my face is back. Ooh, right up in your face with my face. Check this out. Betsy Ross, the most patriotic snake in the USA, born on the 4th of July. Hi. She's a beast. She's a big old big old beast. She's a big gentle beast. You know, there was a time when I never thought that I would keep a snake this large. How long can you schlong? Ooh, don't go into racks. Ooh, we're getting, we're still going, we're still going, we're still going. Oh my gosh. How long can you schlong? Oh, it's still happening. We're going all the way across the room, dog. Ooh, tail. Forgot to turn my microphone around. See, small little details that I don't really need to tell you about, but I'm telling about you anyways. I flipped the little microphone around on my camera so that it's facing back towards me so the audio is better. These are the little things that I think about when I'm filming. These little tiny things, they all fill my brain and they make me just a little insane. But that's why my life is not so plain, and I go around singing in the rain. Speaking of rain, California, if you decide to bring back the rain we had last winter, again this coming winter, thank you. Look what else we got going on in here. Who's ready for some more cinnamon and cheese sunsets? Don't forget to get your cocoa blocks. Link in the description. Mmm, substrate. You want your snakes to breed? Put them on that stuff. Going up. Let's see if these girls are ready to get their paddle on if they're still sleeping. Come on. What's going on in here, hip hips? Ooh, dancy tea. Dancy tea. Dancy tea. Say what oh, first God. thing? The... <laughs> say, Hello. say what first thing in the morning, mommies? There was a raccoon in our little pool last night. Look at how beautiful she is first thing in the morning. Oh, you're sweet. Up and eating out, mommy. Yeah, I up the door and I was like, hey, you raccoon, and he's like, Wait, say it again. <laughs> and he just looked at me. You're so cute. Yeah. I'm so cute. Yeah, you. Yeah. Hey, Eli. What? What do you know? I know. Raccoons. What about raccoons? That they crawl up trees and they. Crow in pools, and that's all I know. These guys might not be ready to paddle, but I am. Hillary's board's bigger than mine. Can't forget the paddles. <coughs> <coughs> Who's ready to paddle? Me. Oh, wait, ah! there's the leaf on your head. Oh, thanks, bud. I'm warmed up, I'm warmed up, I'm ready to go. Ooh, when we get back, I'm gonna show you guys a snake that you've never seen here before. Oh yeah. I love that we come out here and it's just nice and cool when it's all hot and heated out in the freaking Tascadero. Just jump in the water, jump on some paddles. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> Buy a stone walker for when you just don't feel like running. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cheers. Man. Cheers. Yeah, sure. You long time watchers of the vlog may remember Uncle Dave from such classics as the wild exploding watermelon documentary. Mmm. It didn't explode at all. So I just want to tell people uh, why they shouldn't move to Morro Bay. As a local, I feel like you have a good take, take I on do. that. I do. Place has gone in the dumps. Too many people, it's too loud. Too fast, too furious. The waters have been fished out, everybody's walking around frowning. Taurus. Full of sour pusses. Stay like away. Me. You don't want any part of this. Classy director. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I used to always fall in when I tried this before, but let's see if I can do it now. worth it. Can we go home now? Nope. Ball life to the rescue once again. Don't oh, let him ever tell you nothing good ever came out of Fresno. What do you know? I know. Crabs. What about crabs? That they have shells and they're pink. They have huge well, the big ones do. No, I don't. But even the little ones can have a powerful pin. They're all different colors, and they have a mouth, and they walk sideways, and that's all I know. Oh, you should. What else? Wait, 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 wait. Boy, been over here hunting crabs. Here's that snake I was telling you about. I actually just realized, I think I actually have shown you guys this guy one time before in a video, but only once. You don't get to see him that often. This is Sandy. He's a Kenyan sand boa and he recently won a contest for having the most original name of any snake to date, Sandy the Sand Boa. He's cool. He was just doing some little false striking at me. That was kind of interesting. Sandy, are you cool, dude? Are we, are we cool? Can we hang out and be, can we be like friends and stuff and you're not gonna keep striking at me and whatnot? Yeah, yeah, let's chill out, dude. We cool. We cool. So this little homie, his name's Sandy. He's a sand boa. And uh, one other thing about him is that his name is Sandy and he's a sand boa. He's going into shed. He's usually a really bright orange. And you know why he's so orange? It's because I won him in a uh, charity auction that my buddy Mike Porter was having that he does every year. And uh, I was bidding against Miguel on this little dude and I wasn't planning on winning. <laughs> I was just trying to break up the thing and make it uh, more expensive for Miguel to win. And he just, he just went ahead and let me win. And you know what, Miguel's, speaking of winning, he's let me win a couple times. This Australian crocodile book at a US ARC auction, I, I won thanks to Miguel stopping his bids. That yellow Lambo right there, that was another one of those. Too much winning, stop Miguel. I really didn't want to win that. Ooh, ooh, camera, please don't fall, thank you. I really didn't want to win that much. Speaking of winning, you guys can win this sample pack of Cocoa Blocks which is uh, currently the best substrate for snakes on the market. The, the, the best. It's not a biased opinion, it's just, it's just a fact. Just like how Sandy won that sand boa contest. Huh, Sandy. Most original name ever. So first person to comment down below the, the catchphrase for Morro Bay, the place we just were. It's just a little bit of research, I'm sure you can figure out if you don't know it already. What is the, the town slogan for the town of Morro Bay? Not the first person to comment, but if you comment down below with the correct comment, you will enter in and I will send you a free brick of this Cocoa Blocks right here. All right, is that cool? Are we happy? Are we having a good day? I feel like I'm really winning today. 
I hope some of that's trickling over to you guys. And you too, Sandy. I actually keep Sandy on Cocoa Blocks. The great thing about it is that you can actually not get it wet and let it just be dry and it does the opposite. It actually absorbs moisture instead of hold it. That's why Cocoa works for holding moisture because it really sucks it in, but it, it'll dry out too. And once it dries out completely, it keeps trying to find moisture and keeps it nice and dry for something like this. Look at that little face. How could you not enjoy a little face like that? It's totally enjoyable. I'm really enjoying it. I'm glad you guys are here to enjoy it with me. Enjoy it, enjoy it, employ it, don't destroy it. I gotta go guys, I gotta go. Uh, before we go, to all my friends and family, I love you, I miss you, I'll see you again soon. All right, so we're just gonna hope and pray with all our might that she doesn't poop on the couch. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. If she does. Does she have to poop? If she does, she will not.